Welcome to the cold kitchen. I got some beer. <laughs> For today's segment, we're uh, getting away from the wheel. And we're going to do a little thing we like to call Internet Chef. Uh, how Internet Chef works is we find a recipe, usually on our Facebook feed, of like one of those, you know, BuzzFeed, Tasties, uh, Food Beast, one of those random recipes you see quick time videos of. And uh, we're going to see if some of those actually work. Today's recipe is provided by Tasty of uh, BuzzFeed. And it is a seven layer steak sandwich. I argue that this is just a way to ruin two good steaks, but we're going to find out. Of course, we got to cook the steak first. Huh? <laughs> All right, so we got a couple of fucking fatty ass steaks here. Manager special ribeye. Um, I need a larger cast iron pan. Yeah, the, the recipe cooked both of the steaks at the same time. They're not going to fit in here. Yeah. But that's fine. We'll just cook them one at a time. So obviously this thing's hot as dick. Yeah. So we're gonna do two minutes per side, two minutes give per or take, yeah. and then do some other shit. Just listen to that fucking beautiful yeah. bean footage. Mm. Oh. Boom! So how hot does a dick have to be for two minutes per side? Pretty fucking hot. Mm, that's a hot. I'm work. gonna say at least seven. Yeah. Yeah. We, we season these with some Montreal. Montreal the recipes, stays, they just salt and, and pepper, but salt like, and pepper. But come yeah. on, Montreal's the way to go. See there, motherfucker. Two that more minutes. Nice. Two more minutes. Put that butter in there. Yeah. yeah there you go. Oh my god. Spoon it. <laughs> no, you probably don't even need this step if you use like a really nice cut of steak, like a ribeye. Yeah, there's actually a lot of fat in this steak. But, but fuck it. You know, this is what the recipe does, so we're doing. But fuck it. Oh, she's a beaut. Oh, she's a beaut. Look, look at, at her. That. Ooh. That is something that you can only achieve with. A proper cast iron pan. Mm hmm. None mm -hmm. of your non stick bullshit with your Teflon. You cannot get that. Yep. You need a proper Wero, too. That's one steak. We're going to do the same thing to the other steak, and we'll get back to you when we're starting to assemble our sandwich. Wero cooked their steaks. Now we don't need them anymore. So I'm back, and I'm going to assemble the seven layer sandwich of doom. We start out, of course, with the bread. This is like the biggest thing we could find at our local grocery store. It's a little bit flatter <laughs> than what they had, but you know what? Fuck it. And we're gonna dig out all the goody, goody bread parts. This is a very good smelling uh, bread. Mm -hmm. It's a delicious Italian bread. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let's. Yeah, mash it in there. <laughs> this cold roll, bitches! That steak fits surprisingly well inside of this. Boom! Steak in a bread bowl! I'm done here! <laughs> this is the order you put things inside of here. I am the internet chef. Cheddar, mushrooms, spinach, bacon, Swiss cheese. Okay. Get some cheddar in here. Of course, it's Tillamook, you plebeian. <laughs> get, the get, get the cheddar footage! Bastard. Come on, bring it in! Bring it in! <laughs> Get, get some glamour shots on that cheddar. And then that's where you put your delicious spread. Need mushroom gloop. Oh my goodness, look at that. You know what this is? This is just a recipe to make a nice cross section. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Yes, yes. Like when you cut it's something in half. Pretty when it's cut in half. Yeah, it looks so awesome when it's, pretty, when it's cut in half, but it's like, there's no it's utility in it. <laughs> exactly. Get your spinach on there. Get your bacon on there. Bacon! Yes. What, is that, what is that pattern that's made on that paper? I didn't understand what I was looking at earlier. Because that's what, how they were cooked on there. <laughs> Our bacon looks way better than their bacon. I want to I want to point that out. I just got to say Fuck that, like, well. when we started making... <laughs> when we first looked up this recipe, I thought it looked dumb and it would ruin it. But when I'm making it... It does look I, very I, delicious. I feel something for it. I have an affinity for this. <laughs> you and this steak, spinach, bacon bowl are kindred spirits. That's that's what you know about it, I, yes. I would imagine. Yes. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> Complete. <laughs> Let's try to get him in there. Let's try to get him in there. Let's Yeah, just just edge the We sides can't in. we can't use your tail. Oh put it in my mouth. <clears throat> get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Yes. 
Yes, it fits. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I am the sandwich king. <laughs> Fuck you, Jeff Morrow. <laughs> now what you want to do is you want to create a bed of foil. Mm. What is what is Red Green saying? We're gonna wrap him up. Ooh. Wrap him up nice and tight. From here, what we do is we put it in the fridge with a bunch of shit stacked on top of it to flatten it out. <laughs> uh, they use like fucking cutting boards and books and shit. We're cold <laughs> moose, so we're just gonna use a case of Corona. <laughs> <laughs> for real? <laughs> <laughs> that beer is working for you, buddy. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> It's been this specified amount of time. Now let's get our beer box off of that. The amazing part is that we didn't drink any of these beers. Oh. Now, so you're not supposed to cook it with the oil? Nope. Oh, uh, look, there's the meat juices coming out the top. Is that what that is? I think yeah. it's oh, meat yeah. juices. Yeah, that's, that's awesome steak goodness right there. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to throw it in the oven for 20 minutes. I can't believe this thing actually is turning out as well as it did. Like, when I watched the video, I just had no, no hope. Sandwich time! Get it out of the oven! Come on, man. Mm. Oh! We're a little skeptical that this thing is actually going to be, like, nice and warm on the inside for as long as it has to be in the fridge. But we're going with it. This is, this is the, the reason for this show is, does this recipe that you saw on BuzzFeed or Facebook or whatever, does it work? See what the inside of this looks Sour like. Sourdough is definitely crispy. Yeah, it sounds crispy. Mm. Yeah, see, none of it's It it's doesn't look melted. melted. No, that's not melted on the center. Is that even warm in the fucking, center? It barely. See, we knew this would happen. Putting it in for a little bit longer, we're making an executive decision right now, and we're telling you that recipe does not work because it's not hot enough to melt, melt all the shit in there. If you use good steaks. I'm going to actually turn this up. We've left it in there for an additional amount of minutes, which is undetermined currently, because I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> but we turned up the heat. That's the important part. It's just it's not just... cooking on the inside, man. You gotta, you gotta let this thing cook a lot. Whoever made this recipe enjoys his sandwiches at the wrong consistency and temperature. Yeah. We've turned up the heat a lot. We've set, let it sit in there for a while. And then we even wrapped more foil around it so we could actually try to melt some fucking nope, cheese. Nope, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. <laughs> Let's Sorry. see what we have. Now, Lofi has to leave soon. We can't let Ooh. Lofi leave without trying some of this, so. <laughs> We're gonna cut him off a slice. That does Yay. make a pretty picture, though. It sounds awesome. No, oh, that looks a lot better. It's still not super hot, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this in here, and me and Wero are gonna try one. Yes. After it's cooked properly. After it's cooked properly. All right, here we go. Ah. Because that's the thing, too. Like, how difficult is that to eat? <laughs> Very difficult, apparently. <laughs> Don't die on us, Lovey. Sandwich is great because all of the flavors are very distinct. You can taste the meat, you can taste everything. This tastes like a quiche. <laughs> I'm serious. Whoa. How many times have we talked about quiche today? What is happening over here? The cheeses are too strong. The meat is lost. It tastes like a quiche. Like, I taste the onions, I taste the mushrooms, I taste the spinach. Um, the meat is, like, completely overwhelmed. Mm. Yeah, the sure. bacon and the onions overwhelm it. Like... I just took a bite of the back out here without any steak. It tastes about the same. Like, it's so strong. I'd rather have the steak by itself and cook the rest of it as a sandwich. Mm -hmm. And you'd be like, right on, I got a steak and a sandwich. Now. <laughs> <laughs> that's some bullshit. So, boom, that's what we did. Oh, yeah, now the cheddar milk. If anything, the bread is done. This works. It stands alone. There's enough flavor in there. It's cheesy, gooey, hot, delicious, steaky, fatty. Mm. If we had used the shitty steak this recipe normally would have wanted, it wouldn't be good. But with a nice, delicious ribeye, plus another nice, delicious ribeye, <laughs> Inside of there with, you know, caramel 
onions and mushrooms and cheese and seasonings. It's pretty good. It's pretty, pretty okay. This internet recipe turned out much better than I expected it to. So, there's that. <laughs> it's... It looks about right. It's only got one steak on it. Grab another steak, put it on top. <laughs> there you go. Now it's got two steaks on it. <laughs> Make it happen, bro. I'm not even sure what's going on. Here. <laughs> Just eat the fucking No, food. I'm not! I'm not going to. Fuck! It's it, like, I mean... The, the the quick cut video. Mm hmm. I just not see this being that delicious. You have to cook it way longer than they tell you. Definitely. Like, it. it but. <laughs> 20 minutes at 250. I even get the bacon. I get the bacon in there. I get the. Oh my god, it's good. It's really good. So, their final cooking time is not right. Mm hmm. I would say start it off at 375. And cook it for at least 15 minutes at 375, and then check it and probably cook it for about 10 minutes more. What we've learned here today is that even the dumbest looking recipes might turn out pretty well. Uh, thanks for watching Internet Chef today on uh, The Cult Kitchen. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Go check out Luffy's channel, even though he's not here anymore because he's an asshole. Uh, check out his Twitch, and check us out on Vlogmoo, and you can also check us out at Galveston, Texas, and August, at Crickon.